moving on, controversial debate on the allegations of land grabbing by Deputy President William Ruto degenerated into chaos, forcing Parliament to prematurely adjourn Thursday afternoon. Tempers flared in the House as Wajir Woman Representative Fatuma Gedi presented documents to prove her claims. In the midst of the heckling, Embakasi East MP Babu Owino was caught in the wrong and when he defied orders to leave the chambers, the Speaker Justin Muturi adjourned the House for disorderly conduct. Wajir Woman Representative Fatuma Gedi had arrived in Parliament with a suitcase said to be containing a dossier to substantiate her claims that Deputy President William Ruto had allegedly grabbed several pieces of land in the country. Because today is a historic day. Because we will see where somebody got a nickname from. Please, please. no, 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 no. What is your point of order? Mr. Speaker, let me begin with the substantiation of my assertion that William Ruto grabbed the belonging to Adrian Muteshi, a parcel of land, 33 Tapsogoi, of which Albert was given vacant possession in 1968, subsequently raised with a deed was issued on 17th March 1989. Honorable Speaker, let me narrate. The ordeal of the innocent Kenya went through in the hands of William Ruto. Let me explain. Are you tabled? I have not tabled. I have it here. Are you what am I tabling? What table am I tabling? I have to explain. No, table I have to explain. Table no, I must explain. Kenyans must know. I must explain. What am I tabling? No. Gedi seemingly enjoying the support of Azimio Lomoja allied legislators who called for Speaker Justin Muturi's firmness on the matter, citing his political affiliations with Ruto. When we saw in our hotel in Karen, Mr. Speaker, signatures and ceremony happening, you signing as the party leader of the Democratic Party, Mr. Speaker, we started now feeling that surely we might not get a fair treatment in the House, Mr. Speaker, there might be no impartiality, Mr. Speaker. You have found it fit to take sides with the Deputy President, which means, by definition, in terms of whether we are safe in his hands, your answer has been yes. It therefore makes it difficult for you to come to a conclusion of fact in respect of that question by this member. Legislators supporting the DP came to the Speaker's defense, even as he maintained that the political affiliation is his democratic right. And the Speaker, the procedure for the removal of a Speaker is known, is known to every member. The Speaker who is before you is unwilling to resign. <laughs> take it now, yes, we can take the bank. The debate then degenerated into heckling during which Embakasi East lawmaker Babu Awino was ruled disorderly and ordered to leave the chambers. Babu Awino, out of the chamber. Owino, however, defied the orders prompting the Speaker Uino. to prematurely adjourn the House, out. even when it recess for out. the elections is due. For Prime Edition, I'm glad.